My dad wanted me to take over. Well, sometimes. <laughs> you know that. He did. Sometimes. He made me hate him, and he died. That's Jeremy Strong as a tortured son in the hit HBO series, Succession. Ben Mankiewicz speaks with a performer who's come to be known as an actor's actor. I mean, everything has changed and nothing has changed. Yeah. Nestled between a New York City church and a small Mediterranean restaurant, the Rattlestick Theater conjures up powerful memories for Jeremy Strong. These weren't here, they took these risers down. Back in 2011, Strong was a struggling actor, appearing as an Afghanistan war veteran in Paraffin, an off-Broadway play. This was like a 60-seat theater where the bathroom is on the stage. It is on the stage, yeah. And you could smell the falafel stand downstairs, but it didn't matter. More than a decade later, Strong, now 44, is a success story, thanks to his role on HBO's hit series Succession, now winding down its fourth and final season. The show is fictional, but at times seems inspired by some real-life media dynasties. My father is a malignant presence, a bully and a liar, and he was fully personally aware of these events for many years. Strong's character is Kendall Roy, troubled and talented scion of his family's media empire, one of four siblings desperately seeking their father's approval. I mean, they're not the 1%, they're the 0.001%. Yeah. But yet, there are working class families, people all over the spectrum who clearly relate. I find that very moving because I think at the heart of it, it's a story about family and the need for love and the need for validation. So it's incredibly universal. Now I'm afraid I have to inform you, you are all dismissed. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're all fired. His character may have grown up with a silver spoon in his mouth and a sense of entitlement in his soul, but Jeremy Strong is not Kendall Roy. Born Christmas Day, 1978, Strong spent the first decade of his life in Jamaica Plain, a working class neighborhood in Boston. There's a crosswalk somewhere. I think it's up there. Jeremy's father, David Strong, was everything Logan Roy isn't. Caring, paternal, and heroic. Once nearly sacrificing his own life as he walked with his son, then eight, to a neighborhood park, the Arnold Arboretum. There was a car coming like 40 miles an hour that wasn't slowing down for the traffic light. So he picked me up and he threw me out of the way. Oh, really? And he got hit by the car, broke all the bones in both of his legs. Your dad? Saved my life, yeah. There's things you're able to do that I can't, maybe. Maybe. The intensity and resentment that we see from Kendall is not a product of Jeremy's childhood. None of that comes from your relationship with your dad. No, and I don't think I understand how I have access to that relationship. There's not some hidden trauma in my life or my background. In fact, he took us with him to visit his childhood home. And that's my house. Um, the moment seemed to catch him off guard. You haven't seen him in 20 years. It just feels big feelings coming back here. I don't want to monumentalize it, but in a way, these are like the waters of childhood. At around five, Strong started acting in community theater. In high school, he got jobs on local movie sets, learning from filmmakers he grew up idolizing. I worked on The Crucible. I worked on Amistad. I remember Tony Hopkins, you know, giving his speech. What are we to do with that embarrassing, annoying document? As John Quincy Adams and... You know, it was incredible. It was incredible. He even got to work with Daniel Day-Lewis, an uncommonly committed actor who's had a lasting influence on Strong. I'm a student, you know, I'm, I think eternally, really. And you're trying to absorb visceral clues from anywhere you can. After earning a scholarship to Yale, Strong moved to New York, where he started auditioning, barely scraping by. I don't think I had anything in my fridge, you know. I worked a lot of jobs, waiting kind tables, of jobs? room service, shredding paper, you know, every, 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 anything. Most of his acting work came on the stage, off-Broadway. 
there's inherent value in just doing good work. The feeling of, you know, no one might see you do this play. You're making 50 bucks a week, but you're swinging for the fences. Then came that play here at the Rattlestick. There was a casting director. She came to see me in this play, and that year I worked on Lincoln and Zero Dark Thirty and Parkland after that, and it just, everything changed. So you're offering us a chance to short this pile of blocks. More movie work followed before that big break in 2016, being cast as Kendall Roy, which has earned him an Emmy for Outstanding Lead Actor. Action that, but soft, no prints. The critical praise is due in part to his hyper-focused approach to finding his character's emotional reserves. I killed a kid. On Succession, he often isolated himself from the rest of the cast, which is exactly what Kendall would do. So you're not a method actor, right? You wouldn't no. say you would say no to that. Yeah. No. Yeah. You know, it's it's everybody has a method, but I would say mine is always changing, and it's really just following the line of your intuition, that is dictated by whatever you're working on. Is there a risk in that level of commitment to you personally? The fear I would have is that you know it'll, you'll burn out. I don't think so, because I find a tremendous amount of joy in in doing this. A bit of that joy, however, has been tempered. There's been criticism fueled by a 2021 headline-making profile in The New Yorker that Strong's process can go too far. Did it make you sad? Sure, yeah, yeah. He'd prefer not to discuss the article, but to his credit, he answered every question we asked. It made me feel foolish to be presented in a certain light. Do I regret it? Would I do, here's the thing, would I do anything differently? Would I, would I hedge or hold, or, or hold back answers or try and calibrate myself differently? No. Strong has found time recently for other projects. A married father of three can afford to be picky now. Next year, he'll return to a familiar place, the stage, in An Enemy of the People on Broadway. I read it and I just immediately said yes. But it's his work on succession that has defined Jeremy Strong for the past seven years. And now it's time to let go of Kendall Roy. But you're done now. Yeah. Put Kendall to rest. Yeah, I did. I went home to Denmark where my wife and I have a place and I went out, sat on the beach, watched Kendall go down with the sunset. Adios. You felt that was okay. I've been living with this character and carrying or trying to carry his struggle for so long, but I'm happy to be finished and, and relieved and released.